Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Do you hear how heavy that is? Do you even know or realize how heavy that is? Do you know what it takes to run a city? We haven't been taught what it takes to run a city. Bring it out. All we've been taught to do was run our mouth. That's we've right. We've been taught how to run our fingers on X. We've been taught how to post on Facebook. That's all we've been taught. We've been taught to stand on blocks and talk crap. Right. We've been taught to do what? Disrespect our own people. We've been taught to have sex before marriage, try before you buy. That's what we've been taught. Second Ezra, chapter 6, 60 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of whom come we all. So everybody in the world come from Adam, read. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. And the chosen people come from Adam, read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He made the world for the sakes of those he chose. There's a separation in the sons of Adam. That's right. One of the sons of Adam was chosen through the, the lineage of Shem, through the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right. and Israel. We don't have the sign, but if you look at the back of your, your, your flyer, at the bottom, these are the sons of God that's chosen. That's right. Chosen to do what? Read it again. And after this, Adam also, whom thou hast, whom thou madest what, Lord of all thy creatures, of whom come you all, and the people whom thou hast chosen, and all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. This world is made for the children of Israel. That's right. It's made for our sakes. We're supposed to be reaping the benefits of the gold, of the oil, right? Of the labor that's put forth to build these nice things that we love to have. We love to dress nice. We love to dress black. You got the hat on why? Because you like it, right? You shouldn't have had to fight a hat. You like that chain, right? You like the chain? You like the shirt? Everything you got on, you like it. You got it. Why? Because you want it. You like it. That, that was a gift? That, that was a gift. Guess what? Guess what? Okay, it, it means something to you. So guess what? You're supposed to benefit from the assembling of those materials. You shouldn't have to come out of pocket for nothing because the world was made for our sake. Do you understand that? Do you, do you hear how heavy that is? Do you even know or realize how heavy that is? Do you know what it takes to run a city? We haven't been taught what it takes to run a city. Bring it out. All we've been taught to do was run our mouth. That's we've right. We've been taught how to run our fingers on X. We've been taught how to post on Facebook. That's all we've been taught. We've been taught to stand on blocks and talk crap. Right. We've been taught to do what? Disrespect our own people. Yep. We've been taught to have sex before marriage, try before you buy. That's what we've been taught. We haven't been taught how to run a city, my brother. How you doing, my brother? You ever heard, you ever heard anybody saying they want to run the block or they run the block? Do you know we supposed to run the world? Watch that car. You know we supposed to run the world? The Lord said we supposed to run the world. Why we not running the world? Why we focus on running a building or a block? It's going to take discipline to take this world in righteousness like we're supposed to have it. We ain't supposed to have slaves and beat them and kill them and destroy them like we were treated. We're supposed to have servants. Y'all understand that? Give me 1 Kings 4 and 24. We're supposed to take care of everything around us, man, woman, and child, resources, the earth, the air, the water. But that's not being taken care of because the rightful sons of God have lost their mind. That's right. We pay for water that falls freely from the sky. That's called a water bill. And they justify you paying for it because of the, the convenience of it coming to your house clean. It's 
certain house to come to your house clean. If the water first came born, what is it? If the water wasn't polluted in the first place. There was debris that's in this earth, my brother, that created the, the, the pollution that we face with now. You understand that? The Lord said if you discipline yourself and not fall into those greeds and those lusts, a lot of these problems that we face will go away. Right. So first Kings chapter 4 verse 22. And Solomon. We're talking about Solomon now. King Solomon, and watch, sister, sister, my sister, put the headband, ready to get these tacos. My brother trying to get your attention. How y'all doing? Doing well. What we're doing right now is we're teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. The Lord said the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the true, true children of God. That's right. And that we must rise up out of this decayed state that we're in. We're so focused on nothing that we can't hear the truth when it's right behind us. <laughs> we can't see the salvation of God because we so destroyed in our brain. The salvation of God is standing here right now before you. I want you to listen to the word of God. This is what we bring it out. Read. And Solomon promised a provision. You hear that, my brother? We're talking about King Solomon. You ever heard of King Solomon? You know who King Solomon is? He's a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. A king. He was a king. And the Lord said that he ruled his subjects in a fashion that I'm going to try to show you. We're supposed to be ruling our subjects in love. Right? We're supposed to be ruling our subjects with all authority. You understand that, brother? You ready to rule your subjects? What does it take to rule your subjects? Right. Do you know? Do you care? Again, I go back to the question, who shall stand up for the Lord? Don't stand up for me, stand up for the Lord. And no, stay right there. And then you standing up for the Lord, guess what? By default, you standing up for me anyway. So take me out the equation and just serve the Lord. Right. And Solomon's provision. Solomon's provisions, meaning his victuals, his his things that he was allotted, right? The things that he used up when? For one day. For one day, we talking about what it took for Solomon to rent his kingdom in one day. Read. For one day was 30 measures. You hear that? Read. Of fine flour. 30 measures of what? Of fine flour. Read. And three score measure of meal. Three score measures of meal. Read. 10 fat oxen. And you hear that? 10 fat oxen. How you doing, sir? All right, we're going over some of the things that it takes to run a city. We're going over how to actually come back to your natural authority as God's chosen people on this earth. That's right. Reaping the benefits of the resources here in America, in the, uh, in the Africans, in the Europeans. Anywhere, anywhere that you set foot on, you're supposed to benefit from it. And you're not supposed to break the laws of God to do it. Like today, there's a lot of breaking the laws of God going on. We're trying to cast down that imagination Therefore, you can come back and learn what it takes to serve the Lord for the time and good graces with the Father. All right? Read. Ten fat oxen. Ten fat oxen. One ox can feed maybe a hundred people. He got ten fat oxen. <laughs> Read. And twenty oxen out of the pasture and, and hundred. So we got thirty oxen. You can feed so many families with 30 oxen. I ain't got to stand on the corner and, and, and destroy my people so I can feed my family. Right. My one little measly family with six, seven people in it. I'm destroying 30, 40 families just to feed them. But guess what? The love that Solomon Air Force people, which is the love we share for our people, out of the love and understanding that he had on the Lord, he was able to feed hundreds, hundreds of people. Right. That's the mindset we should be having. How do I feed my brother? Not, okay, what am I going to do to get food on my plate today? That's our reality, yes. Yes, that's our reality. But it's time to wake up from that reality. That's not a true reality. The true reality is we should be slaying 30 oxen a day. That's cow, by the way. Right. Oxen is cow. Oxen is in the cattle family. 
That's what we should be doing. We should already have this on reserve. But how do we get it? Come and deal with me. We're going to show you how to get it. How you doing, my brother? Hey, give me five minutes. We trying to bring our world back under subjection to the Most High God. We ain't too busy to, to hear the words of the Lord. The Lord gave you the oxygen to breathe. He gave you the animation in your body to move how you move. Come and deal with the Lord. You don't deal with them all week. How I know that's true? Because I see a lot of skin going on around you. I see a lot of buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Right. I hear a lot. I see a lot of brothers and sisters dressing out of order. I right. see a lot of sin going on around me. Do y'all care to serve the Lord? Do y'all love the Lord? My brother with the white hat, do you love the Lord? You love the Lord? Come here, let's how, how do we prove that we love the Lord? Because right now it's time for us to get away from all the talk. It's time for us to get away from all the, the shucking and jiving and the, and the BS. Right. It's time for us to do that because if we don't, we're going to continue giving our sons and daughters a broken system to live under. We're never going to get back to our fat cattle. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.